Hey boozers and welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. Today I've got a beer that did help out bottling it. Well, putting it away into a box and taping it in the box. From far we have the Far Out Pilsner. Finally in bottles. Coming in at 5% alcohol by volume. And yeah, it is a true style German Pilsner. Oh, beautiful smoke on there. That is one gorgeous looking beer. Oh man, yeah. All right, so we have beautiful golden color, two fingers worth of beautiful head on there. Nice medium tornado of carbonation. The bubbles are swirling quite nicely. The smell, beautiful, beautiful smell for a Pilsner. All right, got to get into this. Cheers. <sighs> that is a true style German Pilsner. Really do enjoy that. That's actually really beautiful light body on it. Great taste, amazing taste on that. Very subtle, a lot of, it's nice to have something traditional. It's nice to have something very traditional where they actually go by the, uh, the purity laws and they actually bring in something that would normally cost an arm and a leg to get it imported here from Germany. This you can find locally and it's cheaper than having it imported. That right there is a bonus and it's a beautiful, beautiful beer. Um, I know there's not a lot of people that like the Pilsner style, but this is something that I could sit down, grab a six pack of, and actually really enjoy. And a lot of these are going for about $5.50 to $6 a bottle, and that's 500 milliliters. That's what? Just over a buck, 100 milliliters? It's not bad at all, especially for a beer. Yep. It's very crisp, very clean, and very just very crushable and very drinkable. Something I would get down with and just enjoy. Have you had their Faro Pilsner? What do you think of it? Would you buy it? Because I'm saying yes, buy it. All right, folks, I'm getting back to what I need to do. Till next time, I've been PK, you've been great. And I like to say cheers, stay frosty, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining and have a good night.